Well, same guy that ran aground yesterday, ran aground today. Uh, I don't, never know the order of these videos. But, I'm gonna assume since the one yesterday didn't take too long, the one today is probably not gonna take too long. Probably show both of these in the same video. But, you know, the guy ran aground in the back of the marina off to our starboard side here. And then today he ran aground trying to get out through Big Pass, so. Gonna head out there now. Hopefully we can get them free. Wind shifted just out of the north today, so a little bit calmer in here. From where he is, this looks like it might be a pull him off the boat kind of situation. Cito, Cito, this is Tobo US. You got a copy on 1 6? Yeah, I see you off my starboard there. How are you looking on water depth there? 1 push 2, 1 4. 1 4, copy. Oh man. Tobo US standing by in 1 4. And it's, uh, where? We're probably about two and a half feet here. Yeah. Roger, you think you can be able to get close enough to him to uh, pull him off the boat? Because he just told me he lost his rudder. Yeah, he had called us to come out and uh, pull him off. Roger. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll stand off here. We just, uh, we, we were called by the police, so we were, came out here to take a peek at him. Uh, copy that. I'm going to come back around. I can't get to him from this side. I mean, you're going to have to pull him out from that side, imagine. Did it just get shallower this way? Well, I just hit bottom over here, so I guess I'll come over to your side and see what I can do. Roger, uh, we'll, uh, we'll stand by. Copy that. Total standing by on one four and one six. Well, this just got a whole lot more interesting. I didn't catch that. What was that? I think that the, uh, I think the vessel name is Kid. Uh, he used to be a member of us, and that turned into be a problem. I think I've told him, like, he, he died. Well, he ran aground uh, back in the uh, corner of Marina Jack yesterday, and I pulled him off from back there. Yeah, this vessel, the vessel name is Kid, and it's definitely our guy. He uh, used to be a member with us.
And did you end up dropping them from the membership? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good to know. Zito is on scene now because the police call him. The Coast Guard's flying overhead. This is turning into more than a simple ungrounding. Zito's on scene as well because the police called them. The Coast Guard just flew overhead. This is turning into a little bit more than a simple ungrounding. I will keep you updated. I will keep you updated. <laughs> Looks like he's had better days. Yeah. <laughs> well, the report we got is he was, we think he was heading out. Yeah, he was. He was at Marina Jack yesterday. Yeah. Is he an old guy? No, he's younger, but from okay. dealing with him yesterday, I could tell he's someone who really shouldn't be on a boat. Oh. And definitely yeah. not today. <laughs> guy he could barely pick up an anchor. Maybe he sold it. Could, could be. This is a younger guy, but yeah. I guess he's been living aboard the boat for a little while now. Yeah. Uh, so, we'll see. Yeah, pretty close. The problem is that, you know, we can't get him a line. Unless, might be able to get him a line, but... Yeah. And he's kind of sitting right in the middle now. He's in a bad spot. He's hitting hard, you know? This, yep. His rudder came off. That's what he said. I'm going to call him on the cell phone, see if he's taking on water. Hey, you guys going to cover that under the membership anyway? No. Hey, this is Captain Ken. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna try my best to get to you, but I'm not sure. You're kind of sitting right in the middle of the sandbar. Yeah. So, I'm gonna try to get to you, but I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to. So, kind of hang tight if I get close to you. I'm gonna try to throw you a line like yesterday and just gonna put it over your uh, bow cleat. Yep. Bye. This will be fun. It's not so bad in this part where you don't have the breaking waves. But I know I've got at least some water here. Once you start getting close to where you got the breaking waves, one, not only do you know it's shallow because you've got the breaking waves, but two, now your boat's going up and down more. So even if you might have a little bit of water, the next instant you may have nothing. Last thing you want to do is get caught sideways with breaking waves, have your engines hit the bottom, and you lose power and directional control.
Good. And try pulling from this close. You might need a little more out and get to deeper water. We'll see. Yeah, the cleater just came off the cleat, I don't know. Can't tell if it broke the cleat or just came off. How much do you draw? Yeah, we're not gonna be able to pull you out. Now, are you gonna wanna stay on the boat or you wanna get off? Okay.
we're just going to pull them off the boat and leave the boat here. Before you get off, just toss your anchor overboard so the boat won't go too far. I don't think it's going to go anywhere, but just in case. I'm pulling him off the boat. What was that? Can't hear you. Yeah, so tie it to the other side. Can you hear me? So oh, this is too sketchy. I'm pulling him off the boat and we're just gonna leave the boat out here. Okay. Yeah, we got three foot waves breaking. He draws four feet. I'm at a foot and a half, two feet getting all the way over to him. So there's no chance of pulling the boat off. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know what we're going to do with this, so. I don't think so, but it's sitting in a foot and a half right now, so it's not going to go anywhere. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, we're at, we're not, we're at a lower tide, but not a low, low tide, so we're not going to get much more water than we have now. But, yeah, I just had him drop it. What was that? They are. Uh, he used to be a member of, uh, so I guess there used to be an old guy who owned this boat and was a member of CETO, and they kicked him out of the membership. That's his problem. I'm just bringing him back to shore where it's safe. Uh, no, not yet, but at a low tide he will be. Hey, you ready? Okay, will do. Bye. Gotta come back. There you go. Good. So what, what happens? We're gonna get you back to the dock and then uh, Mike's gonna call you and we'll figure this out.
When the police called you, did the Coast Guard get notified? Um, they, the Coast Guard knows, yeah. Okay. What are you guys gonna do? Not much we can do now. He draws four feet and I was sitting at a foot and a half. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna matter. It's even at high tide, he's still not gonna be floating. What was it? What was that? What's the FL number on that boat? I don't know. You don't know it? What's the name of the boat? Uh, Kitten. We gotta know in case we keep going in all night long on the boat. Okay. Say your name again? What's the name of the boat is Kitten. Now get closer. Kitten, like a cat? Kitten? Yeah. Alright, Kitten. Yeah, I don't want to keep going in all night on the boat. Yeah, he draws four feet and it's sitting about two feet right now. It's stuck pretty good, it's gonna get lower and lower tides. Yeah. Oh. It's only gonna get lower. Yeah. yeah. Low tides at 11 p.m. Alright, well, if you're taking it back, then you're good. Yep. Probably be easier back here. I'm just getting off. If you want to. <laughs> I'm sure at this point you're done with being on a boat for a little while. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So, Mike will be in contact with you and kind of figure out what to do next. All right. Thank you. No problem.